Um, so we're okay. So we're starting with um, an update on the utility billing inserts. Do you know much about that, Brandy? Um, so I do know that um, here within the next week or so, they need to have a um, um, a template to send off to them to print it in the September and October's statements. Um, I believe when I looked at the cost, it was about $1,200 last year in, or the year before, whichever we last printed in there. Um, because it's an expense, it's an event related. Um, and because of COVID, I did run that by the mayor and he is recommending that we do not move forward without expense at this time. Um, so we do have a few days for, you know, if, if you have some concerns, Cindy, then you can reach out to the mayor and, and you guys can negotiate or talk about how to move forward with that. But at this time, staff is directed not to move forward with it. Um, so, um, like I said, we still have a few days before uh, the third party vendor has um, to get that information over before we can have it printed. So that's, that's the update that I have on utility billing statements. So is anything moving forward this year? Kareen, hi, welcome. Um, I know Fathoms, a great deal of that has shut down. Um, how far are we taking this, Brandy? I'm not quite sure. Last I heard is that he suspended all events until Labor Day weekend. Um, and then after that, he's gonna review and analyze. Um, we're getting ready to put out a press uh, public notice to the public to let them know that um, we are um, um, experiencing low, um, uh, what do you call it? Hold on just a second. Let me get that. Let me get the language here. Um, that the city of Port Orchard is operating with reduced staff levels um, related to COVID. And so we are just encouraging as many people as we can to provide service online um, or uh, mail in things um, uh, or give us a, a phone call. And we're so open to the public. We still require that the public when they're coming into city hall to have a face mask, um, as well as all city employees are required to have a face mask, whether they're vaccinated or not. Um, that is the mayor's directive. And so um, I'm not quite sure as far as special events, how much further it's going to be um, allowed or not allowed. Um, he hasn't elaborated on that piece. Um, I do know that he sits um, on the health board and gets a little bit more insight of how um, extreme COVID is or is not um, in Kitsap County. And that's where he gets his guidance from um, in addition to the governor. So um, he has not directed staff to um, cancel all events moving forward. Um, he is just um, taking it, frankly, one day at a time. So that's what I know. <laughs> which I know is not very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> so much for planning right now, right? <laughs> um, well, we're moving forward with the tree decorating contest. We can do that no matter what. Um, do you have an update on how many we've sold or had sponsored so far? Um, I can give that to you here in just a few moments. Okay. And I apologize, Janine is going to be out. Um, looks like she'll be back a little bit quicker than we were thinking. Um, she had an emergency surgery that she had to do last week. Um, luckily for her, it's a pretty routine minor surgery. So she will be most likely telecommuting next week sometime, but um, we'll be back to work sometime next week. Um, just may not be in the office. So um, she'll probably have better numbers for you. But as far as I can tell from... Um, what's been entered into the system. Uh, pulling that up now. So it looks like two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, about 25 um, have sponsored. Okay. So we can get more on that out when Janine gets back again. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's out of 57, right? Yes. Okay. Almost half. Yeah. Actually, that's 
That's quite a few for this time of year. Yeah. Okay. Um, so with special events, um, I know we have a Santa lined up if we do have something. Um, the band is lined up if we have something. Um, the special event application, what do we do about that then? It would just be on hold? Um, I have directed uh, Janine when she gets back um, to go ahead and start that application. Um, it, it's a little bit different process than the public because this is a city sponsored event. So it um, gets handled a little bit differently, um, mostly from the financial standpoint of it. Um, but you know, all the safety protocols are all still in place. Um, so I have instructed her to go ahead and complete the application. We'll go ahead and get it routed to the departments. Um, we do have a department directors meeting um, to talk about what special events is gonna look like in 2022. Um, so I suspect that, you know, maybe Chimes and Lights will, will be the first in that process, maybe not. Um, we may just say we're going to do everything the same as 2021 and then 2022 we'll go ahead and, and make the change all across the board. Um, so at, at this time we're just going to go ahead and move forward and present it as is and, and once we get the halt from whoever that may be then that's when we'll halt. But um, I, I think it, logistically it makes sense for the police department and public works to plan the event in case we are ready to go because otherwise we'll be in a position like we were about 45 days ago when they're scrambling trying to get these safety protocols in place and the barricades and the planning and the maps um, they'll be behind they'll be behind so if I get it to them now hopefully they'll be able to get some things and, and ready to to be in play for for when we can get the green light to go. Can I ask a question about the schedule let's just say we're doing chimes and lights. Um, and I saw, so the run is still scheduled because, let, let me ask that question first. Is the, there's still supposed to be a run, correct? That's my understanding, yes. The application has been submitted. It's been routed. It's, I believe it's out for public comment. I believe it, I have to look to see where it's, where, where it's at. Um, that to but be we're still morning? moving forward. Hmm? Was that to be in the morning? Yes, I believe so. Yeah, I think it's like from noon to three or, or 11 to three. I have the documents. Sure, I mean, everything is up in the air, but I'll share it from our last HOBS board meeting. Um, you know, I do want to see the street closed down for different things. Um, perhaps going forward, maybe a little more thought put into that. I mean, I absolutely want to see a parade come back, for instance, but merchants downtown, there are a lot of merchants that aren't crazy about streets being closed, um, depending on what they're being closed for. And there was a number of comments about, it, when it was Jingle Bell Run, it was a huge deal. It was a huge deal. It, was, it became a really important part of Festival of Chimes and Lights in the morning, afternoon, and then the lighting of the trees in the evening. but. Um, you know, there are comments that shutting the street down for the whole day when there's a run in the morning and then all this time where the streets closed when traffic could be going through. So I'm just sharing that. Um, yeah, it's my understanding it's the same timeline as Jingle Bell Run. But it's not the same as Jingle Bell Run. That's the right. Time-wise, street closure, all that is my understanding is the exact same. It's a lot smaller yeah, I don't, I don't know that P. Well, she's estimated. Yeah, I, I don't know what the numbers would be. She's estimated 500 to 1000. So I don't know what their registration runner count would be. I know she was working on it. Um, I do know that she is the same person that timed the event. Um, right, so. or Jingle Bell Run. Mm -hmm. I just, I, you know, I wish there was some way it could be closer to further in the day so the road didn't have to be shut down all day. I guess that's what I'm yeah. getting at um, because there is a gap in there. Um, just sharing comments that we're getting. Yeah, and I would encourage if anybody's making comments about special events and they have some concerns, they really need to send us an email that's published in that public notice because otherwise if it doesn't come to me sure as far as the count as far as i'm concerned and the council and the mayor the public has no concerns 
and we right. move forward. But I just really wasn't sure what the timeline was on that run. So, so yeah, it, would, it, it says it, would, it says that um, from eleven to three thirty, and then typically chime starts at what three, four, five. So yeah, depending that, on how many choirs and what we have down there. Yeah, um, and there's still um, some effort to do the pet parade if if it all takes place. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's something really to be discussed more. Um, I wonder if that event could take place along the path if it's smaller or on a different route. Or slightly later in the day. I don't know. Uh -huh. yeah. well, if right now it's being treated as a standalone. Yeah, so the road closure is from 11 to 4. And then chimes and lights road closure will be from four to seven thirty or eight, whatever the time frame is. So, so, so there may be some gaps from the time that that last runner comes in, and officially when public works and um, whoever their um, uh, uh, traffic control person is that's handling that traffic flow, um, they need some time to to break that down, and there may be a lag from setup to pub, you know, to um, times and lights. But I'm not quite sure. You know, if they only have 30 runners, then yeah, they're not going to be there until four. Right? Sure. So we sure. won't know that. But they're treated as a standalone event, so you have to look at it. The council or departments, since it's a road closure, it will go before council, so the council will determine whether it's closed or not and um, move forward. It'll be the same thing as Chimes and Lights. Um, um, there, there's some uh, conversation that all road closures will go through uh, the council. Um, so I suspect that Chimes and Lights will as well. So they could choose not to do one and the other or not to do both or to do both. Uh, okay. But that's, that's the plan. OK, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay, so there's a on the agenda it talks about Kitsap Bank community connections. Um, Brandy, can you explain that one? Yeah, so this time of year we typically get either a letter or a check that says, "Hey, we've been um, we are approved uh, late last year or early this year, and we should be getting a check." So I'm just checking to see if you know where that's at. Um, sometimes they send it to you. Sometimes they send it to me. Um, just a reminder, um, wherever that's at, um, we will have to seek council approval before we can accept it into the city's coffers. So just wanted to, just a, more of an FYI. And then the other twofold is that it's also time to apply for next year's funds. So I'm assuming that you're interested in staff I'm applying for that grant. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, especially if, if it's cut down in scope again this year, then we'll, I think we should partner with them. At some point, we're going to be able to do this again. So it doesn't hurt. Um, what have you heard from Woodside? I have not heard anything, and I did not get a chance to get an update from Janine. Um, so unfortunately, I do not have anything for that. I'm going to check my records real quick to see if I have anything from them, if she's noted it in the file. Um, I think what I remember hearing, but the latest information, but I was gone for a bit, is that um, they may be willing to sponsor it, but maybe not have employee involvement. Oh, gotcha. So that would be something we could check into. Um, I think it would be, if we're moving forward, it would be wonderful to have it. Um, Kareem, what, what is being planned um, with the merchants for PABSA? You mean for that day or for the holidays? For that day. We have nothing planned for that day at the point at the moment. Um, we are actually re-looking at what we do this fall. Um, COVID aside, we made the decision not to, to do trick-or-treating. It's not, it really doesn't, there's no advantage to the merchants and it's a lot of extra money for everybody. Sure. We're looking at doing some other things for October and we have a meeting about that next Monday. Um, I know we've done the coloring contest. We didn't even talk about that at our last board meeting. Um, is that the main thing we've done, Chris? Chris, Chris is the brain of the organization. She's got the, the, the brain that's been around longest. Yeah, okay. we coloring 
contest, we do um, um, the gingerbread house thing with the public market. Yeah, but none of that's on. I mean, that kind it's of, not, it's not, I can't even remember when the date's for the gingerbread house, but it's after Festival of Chimes and Lights. Right. So the coloring contest for normally December. start it on Shop Small. Yeah. Which is um, so the merchants would all have pages to, you know, to hand out. If we do it, generally we leave it up to the merchants what they're going to do. There's no real popsa yeah. specific event. Yeah. That's done. So the Sydney Gallery does an open house and pictures with Santa, which, and I don't know whether we're going to be able to do that this year. Yeah. Or not, I've got to call out to my Santas, and so we'll see. Yeah. We, we are still planning on doing Santa at the market and we're gonna do it like we did last year, which was, you know, like 10 feet in the air and six or eight feet in front of the sled. But um, one thing we are doing different, again, this doesn't have anything to do with Christmas, but we're gonna do the scarecrow contest, but we're going to have people do it in their businesses instead of displaying them at the market um, to drive people to those businesses. Okay. And then if there's individuals or, or organizations that want to do a scarecrow, they can pair up with a business who doesn't want to do a scarecrow. So, um, we just, you know, we, we just want to get, drive more business to the businesses. Um, so, but we can talk about the coloring contest. I mean, that's something that can happen regardless of what else happens. Yeah. Um, but uh, but it's also something that, you know, is a little extra help and or a little extra work and how much does it really help? I don't know. Brings people downtown, I guess. It brings them back because they picked up their thing and they have to bring it back to the library or to the public market or. Yep. Yep. Something like well, that. And then, they, you know, and then there's the judging that and that happens all month long. Yeah. So I imagine we'll do it. And we might do the downtown dollars for the holiday too. We'll see. Um, so we're just trying to get October plan first. Mm -hmm. Right. And a lot of uncertainty. Yeah, but nothing we, we would do for, well, that's not true. Mo most of what we're talking about isn't a big crowd gathering kind of thing. It's nothing that we need special event applications for. Mm -hmm. So... Okay. Well, I think a lot of it right now is wait and see. Uh, we'll keep contacting, though, um, the choirs as a just-in-case, and the band is a just-in-case, but they said yes, and we do have a Santa, you know, <laughs> so if we can move forward, we, we'll try. And the, and the city will still do the lights, right? Yes. Downtown lights, okay. Yes. Okay. And Kitsap Bank, and that's what we can check in on. I'll check with um, Kathy Garcia to see. I think the port was on board for doing their display again. Yeah. Yes, we, uh, we're going to have all the same lights that we had before. I didn't even see you here. <laughs> oh my gosh, here I am. Let me try to get all of you so that I can see you all. This is, oh. Can I see, let me see here. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Well, I, yay. I see nine people. It looks like the Brady Bunch. I know. <laughs> and, and I think I it's nine. Okay, uh, so yeah. and I so think we'll have the court. The and I know Kiss Up Bank is planning on decorating again. Um, so it just remains to be seen if we're going to go do anything more than just decorating um, this time. I, I didn't expect to have to return to this. <laughs> I was really hoping. Uh, I, do, I do have a meeting with the uh, um, Yacht Club on September 27th to see what they're going to do. So I'll be meeting with them and we'll, we're just all up in the air still, but they plan on having boats. Okay. Is that, you said September or is it August? September. Ooh, okay. Yeah, they wanted to meet September 27th, so. Okay. Yep. Okay, well, um, well, Cindy, if you guys do something on some kind of promotion again about the Christmas trees, then I'll start sharing it around because it could be more important than ever, um, like last year. 
Mm -hmm. um, as soon as Janine is back, uh, we'll get going on that some more. I'm glad to hear she's coming back next week. That's really good. Uh, okay, I. it seems to me that a lot is on hold, uh, but we'll do as much as we can to be ready for it. Um, and I'll be interested in hearing more about what Pops is thinking about for different events at the end of the year. And um, probably it would be good to have a meeting. It is the, um, is, help me remind me, what is the um, organizer of the 5K runs name? Is it Lynette? Do you remember? Anyway, I think we should be meeting with her, Popsa and the 5K run um, group to be just touching base with the actual numbers and- Loretta. Oh, Loretta, yes, there it is, it's Loretta. Um, so that we can plan better in the future, if that is going to be a small run um, and what that should look like, um, we have to weigh, I think, the benefits to the community. And um, I agree with you, it isn't the same as the Jingle Bell because it's much, much smaller. So something to be thinking about as we plan Sure. Um, but that's pretty much it, you guys. I think we'll move forward with planning on getting um, the large tree purchased, um, getting that set up, getting the dates for when we get the trees in place, and we'll start promoting um, pretty actively the sponsorship of those trees. Get moving on that. Um, as far as the utility billing insert, because we have such a quick deadline on that, It, it, it's just such a great way to let people know about what we have. So Brandy, at the very least, we could actually um, be getting those out with limited scope on them and um, putting information on them as to updates, as to how broad the event turns out to be. Is it is it the directive is just not to spend any money at all? Or what is, what is the... Um, where are we at with that? I'll clarify it um, with the okay. mayor to confirm. Um, the original thought was not to promote something that may not happen. Um, mm. So from my perspective, if we just alter or change the brochure, because we already know that the, the um, tree lighting, if we do the exact same thing from last year, right? We know that we can at a minimum move forward with that. Um, that's what I would understand it could be. It could be the same thing that we promoted last year. Just don't encourage crowds or, or that type of thing until we know further, but. Um, right, and we could even have a clause in there that just says, um, you know, some kind of possibilities um, and to see, refer to the city's website or something like that yeah. um, for verification. I, I would rather do something along those lines of getting something out or nothing at all, because that leaves people wondering. And, um, you know, I think for continuity for the event, there's plenty to see downtown because we can talk about the lighting. So um, the deadline is August 31st, Brandy? I believe so, yeah. Okay, and Janine's gonna be back this next week. So we'd have a few days to look at that and revise it. So I'll confirm with the mayor what it is, if the directive is not to spend any money or is it to change the content that's going out? Okay, okay. that will help. That will help quite a bit. I think that we didn't end up spending $1,200 last year, but um, I may be wrong on that. Um, but anyway, okay. Um, so <laughs> we're in limbo land, everyone, <laughs> as usual, right? Um, but thank you. I think we'll just keep working towards getting all of the trees sponsored and as many lights as possible. Um, you know, our theme, hope and joy, right? Hope. <laughs> so we're hoping. Um, is there anything else, Sharon? Cindy, I've got a question. Uh, I was asked if we're doing the rock painting again because we had scheduled a date with our Fathoms Court to paint rocks on the 30th of this month. And so if we're not going to do the rock painting and scatter rocks out, then I will cancel that. Okay. Uh, thoughts, anybody else? What do you think about the rock painting? Did you like it last year? I think the rock painting is so 
easy to do and it's not a crowd event. I mean, you can maybe argue it is, but I'd argue against it being a crowd yeah, event. It's not a crowd event, in my opinion, either. It's, it's yeah. something that people do like doing and, you know. It brings joy. I, I think it was, it's just too fun when you find that rock with that message. Let's move forward with it, Sharon. Okay, we'll keep it on the calendar. Okay, good. So we can get that added and I'll work with Janine. Um, do you think Brandy she'll be back on Monday? Yeah, she'll be um, doing a little bit of work this week for me. Um, just limiting the amount that she can do. She just needs to concentrate on her recovery. So um, sure. but as things come up that need to be dealt with, absolutely she's there for us. So um, go ahead and uh, she does have her computer at home. So please feel free to go ahead and email her what you need to get okay. things moving for Chimes and Lights. And she'll okay. Respond. Okay, then we'll work on getting that uh, flyer revised. Should we be given the go ahead with the cost? That's where we're at then. Yeah. I think, okay, that's what we'll do. Um, and until next time, we'll just keep planning um, the dates for getting the trees in place and um, some of the details that go along with that. I think, yes, we should um, fill out the Kitsap Bank um, questionnaire and try to get some sponsorship there for next year. Has that come out? Because I've not received my I know. I was wondering about that application too. for them yet. It, we did not get the normal email like we normally do. Um, Janine okay. put it on her task reminder and asked me last week, hey, I went to their website. They're accepting it. Do you want me to fill it out? And I said, well, put it on the Chimes Lights agenda. Make sure that that's okay. the direction that we All need right. to go. So I think they're still doing it. I don't know if they had email issues um, or they're changing their direction. I'm not quite sure. But um, from what I understand, she did see it on their website. Okay. I'll go to their website. And I thought it was due the the end of September, I think, is when they normally do it, right? It's been a while, but yeah. Okay. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, Kareem, when is the next POPSA meeting? It is September. It's actually Chief Brown. I don't know where we're having it. Third Thursday. Third Thursday. So, yeah, what is that? It's the 16th. No, wait. Yeah. September 16th. Okay. It's it, it, whatever we do, Chief Brown is um, scheduled to talk about these new um, law enforcement bills. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, uh, Kareem, where are those meetings? Are they in person or online or what? We just had our, our second in person, um, and it was at the market, the dock. I don't know where the next one is yet. Okay. There's I mean, COVID aside, there's not very many places to have meetings these days. No. No. So um, we don't want to, COVID aside again, we don't want to not do in person meetings. Mm -hmm. But when there's only 13 or 14 people there, it's also, I don't know, it's discouraging. So we'll, we're still figuring that out. Okay. But everybody wants to get together. So I don't know. Okay. So I did right. confirm that um, Kitsap Bank is accepting applications for 2022 funding until September 17th. Wow. So okay, everybody uh, get your applications in. That deadline is coming up. Okay. Okay. Um, I wish there was more and better news, but for now, what's, we're kind of on hold. We've been through this before, so um, we will make take advantage of what we can do and and make it as festive as we can. Um, and so everyone's well and stay well. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll be back in touch. The next uh, meeting is actually not too far off because this one was late. So I believe the next one should be the second Monday, which would be the 13th of September. Brandy, does that look right? For some reason, Janine has it for September 20th. So let me just check. The okay. But yeah, September 13th or 20th, whichever you prefer. I think it wouldn't hurt to go with the 13th. Okay. The sooner, the better, so that we all have a better idea of where we're at. If that works for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, great. All right. Well, thank you again for attending. And thank you, Cindy. Did you hear anything? Um, 
And yes, let's get painting rocks, right? Who, who's the Santa that you have on board? Pat. Pat, Pat. Pat Oscar. He's, he's a good one. Yeah, he is. Don't he's know very him. authentic looking. Yeah. He's definitely a good one. Okay, yeah. round belly and all. Yeah. And oh, yeah. well, I think that um, he's just, he's so, he has such a wonderful costume and everything. You know, maybe we still can do something with Santa, even if we're restricted. So I don't know how that would work, but you know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what we can do. He was very happy to be um, a part of the event again. And band, maybe even a social distance ban. I don't even know, but we'll work at this. So, okay. so, Kareen, so Kareen, the Santa that you're doing down at the dock, then that's going to be over a period of days or just one day? We were going to do, instead of doing it two weekends, we, um, which is what we've done before, we were, I think it's because of the way the calendar fell, we were going to do it on the 18th and 19th of December. Okay. A Saturday and a Sunday. Okay. Because okay. I will that's give it to Helene to put on the calendar then for her. Yeah, that's the plan at the moment. Okay. I have to Great. confirm that I can get that sled again, but I'm pretty sure that uh, Larry Stokes will do that for me. Yeah. And it worked out really well. And not to mention, I mean, that sled looks exactly like the sled that Santa flies around the world. <laughs> <laughs> It does. Yes, it's a nice sleigh. <laughs> All right. Well, thank okay. you, everyone. And um, I hope that Janine has a speedy recovery. And we'll see you really in a few weeks then. Okay. Bye. All right.